Oh, bring it here, bring it here. That's a huge small one. Hey guys, co here. So not only am I gonna show you the 20 inch small mouth that we got, but two other huge large mouth. And I'm gonna go over why I chose that spot on the lake to catch those fish with a bit of scientific reasoning, as well as that good fisherman intuition that I know a lot of you have. Also, I'll show you how we rigged up our poles. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so airplanes are landing on the lake. <laughs> Natalie gets another chance of fishing. Looks like a loon just popped up right next to us. It is quite an active lake right now. Fourth of July weekend. <laughs> That's so cool. Did you get some fun? Yeah. This is a mesotrophic lake supporting a healthy deal of primary productivity, but not too much phytoplankton to cause excess bacterial decay from the phytoplankton's decomposition. Basically, that means that oxygen levels are fairly good in shallow waters, and many fishes of many sizes are not too limited by depth. Also, the temperature in these waters wasn't too hot ranging from about 70 near the shore and 68 around 12 to 15 feet in depth. The big fish really don't tolerate hotter temperatures, but at around 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 to 21 degrees Celsius, you could find some really big bass just strolling the shallows for small prey. It's just a slip bobber rig with a weighted jig head. Strong. Oh man. I'm trying to go. Oh. I'm trying to book it for the lilies. Yeah, that's a nice. Alright, bring it around slowly. It's a nice largey. 17 and a half inch. On a minnow. On a minnow. This spot is great because not only did it have a good batch of emergent plants, those lilies here, where small to medium bass love to hang out, as well as tons of sunfishes, but it also had a sunken shelter made of a few logs surrounded by submergent macrophytes, aka weeds or cabbage. These shelters are great because they provide an extra protective habitat for fry or young fish, which in turn attracts the bigger fish. And here, the big largemouth bass and smallmouth bass could be coming from the emergence, the deeper water, or a big one or two could just have a temporarily established territory within the shelter. Get you point my chest at you. Oh. Oh, oh that's a fatty. Nice fish. That was on a, a leech, right? You wanna measure that guy? So the correct way to measure him to lay flat and shut them out and squeeze the tail. Yeah. Hold it right. Shoot. Let's get Nat's face in there too. Shoot. So I'm using a slip bobber rig. The bobber is adjustable along the line to float my minnow and weighted jig head at a desirable depth. I like this setup with a minnow in waters like this because of those submergent plants. The minnow is unable to swim into cover as it is suspended over those plants. 
Tom and Natalie are using a floating jig head setup. This is the main line holding a slip weight over a swivel and the last piece of line is attached to a floating jig head and they're using live leeches. This is one of my favorite setups for getting huge fish because it drops your line to the bottom and without a bobber, feeling nibbles and hits is a lot easier. However, the downside is that there's an increased rate of your live bait getting tangled in shelters and those submergent macrophytes. Oh, dragonfly. I was like, fish? Let me get closer. Ooh, that's a nice one. Look at that thing go. Well played, well played. Watch the minnow bucket. Oh, bring it here, bring it here. That's a huge small one. Nah, take my pole. Ooh, that is a good fight, huh? I can't see nothing. You let me know when you. Okay. Right. Oh, that's a heavy one. Whoo! Wow. <laughs> I feel like I should give you an applause. Yeah, that was. I almost knocked your head off with my pole. I know. And I had a dragonfly on my wrist the whole time. I know. I got, <laughs> I got your good hook stick and everything because I was trying to pick up the dragonfly. Oh, that's a healthy fish. Dang, that's a. Yeah, I ducked down because I knew that you were let's, probably going to... Let's uh, measure him real quick and get him back in the water. Yeah. All right, so... Oh, sorry, I That is a 20-inch fish. 20 inch? Hmm? Yeah. That's a 20-inch... Yeah, you got to get a cell phone picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fight. Did you, I saw the thing just go, yeah, you played that well. Just yeah. Nat, good duck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good duck. I don't. I, I don't know where. Yeah, my glasses That's fell. I figured the, the light was getting me, so I figured, okay, I better make him flat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you did well bringing them to me because the, the glare right here, yeah. I don't have my shades on. So I'm going to put my shades on. They, well, I had taken them off during the last. Good, good hunch on uh, where the fish are. Coming up in the next few weeks, more fishing videos, a spinnerbait tutorial, and nature videos. Subscribe to stay notified. Give a like. Have a great day. Keep loving the beautiful chaos of nature. Mmm, rico.